For NJ Advance Media, I am Connor Hughes here at MetLife Stadium where the New York Jets have won their second game of the season. This one, a weird, funky, unique 23-20 overtime win over the Jacksonville Jaguars. The win for the Jets improves their record to two, to uh, 500 at 2-2 two and, two and, and gives them a chance next week with a victory of the Cleveland Browns to bring their record to a winning record for the first time since January 1st, 2016. But more importantly than that, I, I think this game kind of showed you a little bit of the direction that the Jets are starting to take. You know, th this is a Jets team that, to me, looking at it, looks like they're starting to figure out how to win. And that's a really, really good step for this team. You know, when you look at this game against the Jaguars, there were a lot of things that went wrong for the Jets. You know, this was a team that, that kind of had the game, in a, they had the game in a position where they were about to take complete control of it. You know, late in the fourth quarter, a, a deep inside the Jaguars territory, a touchdown essentially ices the win for New York. Josh McCown then turns the ball over. The Jaguars return it for a touchdown. Two possessions later, another Jets turnover, which then sets up a Jaguars field goal, which ties the game and sends it to overtime. Those are things last year, those are mistakes last year that were crippling for the Jets. This is a game, really, to be honest, last year the Jets do not win. They would have fallen apart, they would have lost the game in overtime, and they would all hung their heads in the locker room afterwards. However, the Jets were able, despite these mistakes, despite these mess-ups, to regroup come together again and put together a a win in overtime. Was it pretty? No. Was it ugly? Yeah, probably, but the Jets still got the win. The Jaguars, now I know that they're not this tremendous, spectacular team, but the fact that Jets were able to struggle as much as they did and then come back in the way they did is a legitimate positive for this team. It was not very long ago that, that Todd Bowles talked to the media following an ugly loss to the Raiders and, and said the Jets aren't in a position where they can make mistakes, correct them, and still win football games. Well, against the Jaguars, the Jets made mistakes. The Jets corrected those mistakes, and while again it wasn't pretty, they still won the game. That is a huge positive, that's a huge positive sign for this Jets team and shows that they are headed in the right direction. No, this is still not a playoff team. Yes, this is still a team that's probably going to win just four or five, maybe six games this season. But it shows you that the Jets are headed in the right direction. It shows you that they've got leadership. It shows you that they've got a head coach that kind of has this team learning to win games. And when you start to learn to win games, winning games isn't usually too, uh, too far behind. For NJ Vance Media, I'm Connor Hughes.